Y'all check it out. We're doing Juve Juice Drunken Chicken. I'm going to go ahead and pour some melted butter all over this thing and rub it all over. I'm using that Boudreaux's Fire and Smoke Creole Seasoning. That takes the regular Creole seasoning and spices it up a notch with a little bit of extra kick. And it's also got some smoky undertones. Make sure you get it everywhere. I'm also using that Boudreaux's Low and Slow. Now what this is, is a savory blend of herbs and spices meant for anything that you're going to cook nice and slow. Go ahead and flip that bird over and we're going to repeat the whole process. You know the dude got some of that juva juice, eh? Go ahead and take my beer can chicken holder. Open me up a can of that juva juice, set it in there. Now we're gonna have to go ahead and work that chicken right on top. I like to fold those wings up nice and tight so they're not just hanging around there. Make sure you re-season any spots that came off during the handling process. We're gonna take it on outside. I got the grill sitting at about 300. I got the lump charcoal in there. I got each fire pushed to each side. I got one of those heat safe saucepans. I'm gonna throw in a stick of butter, add in a can of that juvie juice, and then I'm gonna put in the same seasonings that I used earlier. We'll go ahead and put that right over those charcoals to let it start melting. And once that butter melts, every 20 minutes or so, you could go ahead and baste up your bird. After a few hours, it ought to start looking like this here. Make sure that internal temperature is 165. Stop by Urban South, get you some of that juvie juice. We're gonna carve this thing up. I like to go ahead and just take off both my wings first. Then I cut off my legs. Make sure you get that oyster on the backbone. Then I take off both the breasts, leaving them whole. Then I slice them like this. That way you got a little piece of skin with each bite. Once you got it carved up, I only had a little bit of that base left. So I went ahead and drizzled it all over that chicken. I'm going to tell you, I don't cook chicken too often, but man, this one here came out fire. If you need this recipe, go ahead and check out the website. Ah, damn. That there set your block on fire.